As you can see, the original given function is defined to be a composition of functions. So it's supposed to be little f on the outside and then g of x is gonna be our inner function. But when we compose these two together, what we need to get is two over x plus three. So to do this, what I always wanna do is I wanna kind of think to myself, what's the outer function gonna be first? What's happening to this entire function? Well, in this case, what we have is two divided by something. Instead of the denominator being x plus three, what I'm gonna do is just simply put an x there. Now, wherever I put an x for our outer function, and f is our outer function because it's defined in this direction, wherever I put this x, I need to replace it with whatever's gonna be my inner function. So this entire denominator, the x plus three, is gonna go as our inner function. And in doing so, um, it's going to, when you compose these together, replace the x on the inside. Let's show you. If we work f composed with g of x, our operations are you keep the outer function, leave it alone. We're gonna replace g of x with what, whatever we've defined g of x to be. So it's gonna be x plus three goes on the inside here and replaces the g of x. From here, what's gonna happen is we're gonna substitute whatever's on the inside of that set of parentheses inside of f, that function, it's gonna replace the x from how we defined it here. So we said it was gonna be two over whatever we replace x with. So we can say x plus three goes in that spot. As you can see, we get back to how it was initially defined for us in this order to give us this composition. All right, hope this helps out. Um, always ask yourself, on that outer function, what is happening to the entire function? That's usually how I start. Then I'm gonna replace whatever, I, wherever I put X, I need to put that as my inner function, in this case, G of X.